One spacecraft that has been in the headlines the most in 2024 is Boeing's Starliner. This spacecraft has captured global attention, not because of its successful missions, but because of its persistent and escalating issues. With every passing day, it seemed like the problems with Starliner were only getting worse, leaving many wondering if it would ever successfully complete its mission. The lack of a clear return date for the astronauts aboard has been a major source of concern for NASA, Boeing, and space enthusiasts worldwide. And now, after 70 long days of intense research and heated discussions, there's finally a glimmer of hope. For the first time in this challenging journey, we're seeing some positive news about the potential return of the astronauts. NASA has made a critical decision regarding the Starliner spacecraft, a decision that could pave the way for the safe return of the crew members. But what does this decision mean for the two astronauts who have been stuck aboard the International Space Station all this time? Will they finally make it back home safely, or are they destined to face more delays and uncertainty? Right now, two NASA astronauts, Barry Wilmore and Suni Williams, are in a challenging situation aboard the International Space Station. They were sent on what was supposed to be a simple eight-day mission as part of Boeing's Starliner crew flight test. However, due to ongoing technical problems with the Starliner spacecraft, their mission has been extended by over two months with no clear return date in sight. This prolonged stay is causing concerns not just for their immediate health, but also for the logistics of their extended time in space. Being in space for an extended period can lead to muscle loss, bone weakening, and other physical health issues. The psychological impact is also significant, as the astronauts were prepared for a much shorter mission. Staying much longer than planned can increase stress and mental fatigue. The delay in their return is not just affecting them personally. It's also causing problems for other missions planned for the International Space Station. The station operates on a tight schedule, with missions and experiments planned years in advance. The unexpected extension of Wilmore and Williams' stay has forced other missions like SpaceX's Crew-9 to be delayed. This has broader implications for international cooperation and planned research on the International Space Station, as the timing of every mission is crucial. The supplies on the International Space Station are calculated based on the expected duration of missions. With the astronauts staying longer than planned, there is growing concern about the availability of essential supplies like food and medical resources. This situation puts additional strain on NASA and its partners to manage resources effectively while preparing for future missions. The root of these problems lies with Boeing's Starliner, which has faced multiple technical challenges. These issues have delayed the spacecraft's mission and caused significant disruptions for NASA. Boeing was selected for the commercial crew program and received nearly double the funding given to SpaceX, yet they have struggled to deliver a reliable spacecraft. This situation has led many to question NASA's decision to partner so heavily with Boeing. NASA has also faced criticism for how they've handled the situation. They have not openly admitted that the astronauts are stranded, but have instead described the situation as addressing potential issues with the Starliner. This has led to frustration and concerns about NASA's transparency. But recently, NASA seems to have made some progress in addressing the ongoing issues with the Starliner spacecraft. On August 14th, they provided a significant update on the situation, offering a clearer timeline for the next steps. NASA has now set September 6th as the tentative date for Starliner to undock from the International Space Station. This decision is a critical milestone in the mission, as it suggests that NASA has either resolved or made contingency plans for the spacecraft's problems. It's important to note that this isn't the first time NASA has set a return date for the Starliner spacecraft, only to have it delayed. Over the past few months, NASA has made several attempts to bring the Starliner back to Earth, but each time the mission has been postponed due to various technical issues. For instance, the original mission was supposed to last just eight days, with the return planned for late June 2024. However, due to helium leaks and thruster malfunctions, NASA decided to extend the mission to allow more time for analysis and testing. A return date was then set for June 26, but that too was delayed as more issues were discovered, pushing the potential return to later in July. 
Further complications led to another delay in early August, as NASA continued to work on resolving the spacecraft's problems. However, even with the latest planned undocking date, there remains a major uncertainty. Whether the astronauts, Barry Wilmore and Suni Williams, will be on board when the spacecraft departs. The decision hinges on several factors, including the final results of ongoing tests and reviews of the spacecraft systems, particularly its propulsion and power systems, which have been at the center of the issues. If the astronauts can't return on Starliner, there's a strong possibility that they might have to wait until next year to come back on SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft. This isn't just speculation from experts. It's also something that the astronauts' families have started to prepare for. In a recent interview, Deanna Wilmore, the wife of astronaut Barry Butch Wilmore, shared how their family has adjusted their expectations given the ongoing delays. She mentioned that they now sort of don't expect him until February or March, reflecting the growing likelihood that the astronauts might remain on the International Space Station well into 2025. This statement from Deanna Wilmore gives a clear indication of the uncertainty and extended timeline that the families are now bracing for. However, even with the latest planned undocking date, there remains significant uncertainty about whether the astronauts will be on board when the Starliner spacecraft departs. The decision hinges on several crucial factors, including the final results of ongoing tests and reviews of the spacecraft systems, specifically the propulsion and power systems, which have been the center of numerous issues, are under close scrutiny. The stakes are incredibly high. If something were to go wrong during the astronauts' return on Starliner, it could spell the end for Boeing's involvement in NASA's commercial crew program. Boeing's reputation has already been severely damaged this year by a series of high-profile issues, including the mysterious death of a whistleblower who had raised concerns about safety practices and ongoing problems with their commercial aircraft, leading to crashes and widespread criticism. The situation with Starliner is already dire, and any further mishap could lead to the cancellation of the entire program. Such an outcome would be catastrophic for Boeing, both financially and reputationally, as they have invested heavily in Starliner as a competitor to SpaceX. Given these risks, the most likely option NASA might pursue is to return the Starliner empty, thereby avoiding any potential danger to the astronauts. In this scenario, NASA could rely on other space agencies, like SpaceX or even Russia's Roscosmos, to safely bring Wilmore and Williams back to Earth. If you've stayed with us until now, I've got some exciting news for you. We have the most realistic Starship model available on eBay, and it's priced affordably. Whether you're a space enthusiast or just love collecting models, we invite you to check it out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.